Thank you. Happening today, two of the three Gunnersville triple murder victims being laid to rest. You were looking at video taken from the crime scene last Friday night. This is the home on Mulberry Street where two of the bodies were found. It took police 42 hours to arrest the suspect in this case, Jimmy O'Neill Spencer. Way 31, Sarah Singletary joining us live to walk us through what we discovered about Spencer's criminal history. Sarah. Bill, Spencer's been in and out of jail for most of his life, charged with crimes like burglary, assault, even escaping prison more than once. He entered the criminal justice system for the first time back in 1984 on a charge of third-degree burglary. The very same year, he escaped prison for the first time. But get this, he escaped prison two more times in less than 10 years. Spencer was eventually released from prison on parole back in January, and this morning he's behind bars once again, this time accused of three murders. It's aggravating. People would come into our community and disrupt it like they have, and uh, stricter laws possibly would prevent something like this, but just a tragedy. Now, Spencer was charged just last month. He was given a $50 fine for possession of a firearm in a local park. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News. All right, Sarah, thanks so much. And visitation for Marie Martin and Colton Lee takes place at 11 and runs until 2. This is at Carr Funeral Home in Guttersville. Burial for Marie Martin follows directly afterward at Alder Springs. Colton's burial follows that follows Martin's rather at Beulah Cemetery in Boaz and we looked into the last murder